The taiga, or the boreal forest, is the world's largest biome. However, it is under threat like never before. The taiga is a cold, subarctic forest region located in the northern hemisphere between 55 degrees and 65 degrees. It spans across several countries, including Canada, Scandinavia, and Siberia in Russia. We can think of threats to the taiga forests in three categories. Direct threats through logging. This is intentionally and directly removing trees and indirect threats through mining minerals, fossil fuels, and hep potential. They are indirect because the forest is threatened by the side effects of these activities, such as oil spills or flooding. Like in the TRF, hydroelectric power dams are also problematic for the taiga because they flood large amounts of the forest. The roads surrounding the dam and the reservoir itself disrupt migration patterns of certain animals like caribou. The main place is where hydroelectric power threatens the taiga is in Hudson Bay, Quebec, which is located in Canada. Hydroelectric power is a renewable source of electricity, but the negative effects can outweigh the positives. 11,000 kilometers squared of forest has been flooded in the construction of this dam, and mercury was released into nearby rivers, causing health problems for locals. Direct commercial threats include logging for softwood. Between 2000 and 2013, 40% of all deforestation was in the taiga. This was more than the tropical rainforest. Taiga trees produce softwood and are the world's main source of softwood timber. The value of softwood means that large areas of Russia's taiga have been cleared. Deforestation is occurring at a rate of 2 million hectares per year, as much as half of the logging in the far east of Siberia is illegal. It is this illegal logging that is a huge threat to the taiga, as no efforts are made to replant the taiga trees. Without replacing the trees, the pine needle litter will diminish, eventually lowering the soil fertility. Logging in Canada, however, is much better controlled as the government ensures that all logging of the taiga forest is accompanied by replanting of the trees. Tar sands lie under an area of 150,000 kilometers squared in the taiga in Canada. So far, only 500 kilometers square has been extracted. Estimates done by experts suggest that the tar sands could hold up to 1.7 trillion barrels of oil. However, all methods destroy the forests and produce toxic waste in a place known as tailing ponds. Mining the tar sands uses two to four tons of water for every ton of oil produced, as well as natural gas to heat the extracted tar sand. Most of these tar sands are found in the Alberta province in Canada. Canada has the third largest reserves in the world. Tar sands produce some of the most CO2 out of any fossil fuel extraction. Even though Canada was involved in the Paris Agreement and COP26 climate meeting, they still continue to extract these tar sands. This problem is also present in Russia. According to the NGO Greenpeace, which campaigns on environmental issues, Russia's oil industry spills 5 million barrels, or 795 million litres of oil each year through accidents and leaks in the enormous pipelines that transport oil from the remote target oil fields to population centres. Thanks so much for watching. If you found this video useful, then feel free to check out my other GCSE revision videos.